Hey everybody, back with a new Patreon request. This is from Ace Bunny. They're requesting the 13th episode of Babylon 5. Last episode I really enjoyed. Um, you know, the labor demands were met uh, due to the commander basically having carte blanche to reallocate some funds that were needed and uh, the Senate couldn't do anything about it, which was, you know, really nice and it would be great if it was that easy in the real world but thankfully the commander is a really fair leader and gave them what they needed to continue working because you know someone died because of their lack of funding and uh it, it was a really enjoyable end to that conflict although you know him possibly making enemies in the senate for what he he did might come back to bite us later on but uh the londo and jakar situation got handled thankfully the commander was able to get the flower for jakar so they could complete their religious ceremony because londo was being a dick about it um but yeah really enjoyable happy ending to both of those issues so i'm very excited to get back into it so thank you for this request and here we go clarification Mm -hmm. Well, they basically predicted Alexa. Sleeping is not the problem. Waking up, that is a problem. Girl! I've always had a hard time getting up. Who are you telling? Tell them to hone in on a signal. Things escalated quickly. He's gone. Damn. Not long ago, something happened. I've been keeping it to myself, but I need some help. About the Great Council? You got both. The 24 hours of our life that I couldn't remember. Oh, let's get into it. Lately, I've started to piece together a few things. Not all of it. I need your help. Try and That's find an out what... Interesting camera. And why. You went, like, full 360. This is strictly unofficial. You don't have to take on the job if you don't want to. Jeff. He will. This is me, remember? So let's hear it. You're like BFFs. Start at the beginning and don't leave anything out. This... Is the eye the eye? oldest symbol of Centauri nobility? But I would very much like to know how you have your hands on this. No, you wouldn't. Oh, that sounds bad. Who are you? Your own people have continued to exploit your world's resources to build the mighty Nan war machine. We have to protect ourselves by doing to yourselves what you say we did to you. Ah! That's evolution it's an for you. Cycle. See, you. Take the famine as a blessing, Ambassador. A blessing. Of out of the excess population. <gasps> One more comment like that, Bolari, and you will become part of the excess population. Oh. Threat. Yes. Threat. You all quit. Now, that poor guy. You and you can kiss my pouch. You. Now look what you made me do. <laughs> two yards. Two sides of the same coin. I assume that once they were finished with me, the Minbari wiped my memory of being taken aboard their cruiser. Trail's pretty cold. I know, and I don't expect you to come up with anything today. Talk to Dylan. I've waited 11 years. I can wait a while longer. What I want is for you to go away and leave me in peace. As you say. He seems like a troublemaker. I don't know him, though. I don't know anything about him, but I don't get a good feeling. The Centauri stripped my world. Oh. I want justice. But what do you want? To suck the marrow from their bones. Just and grind their skulls to powder. To car to tear down their cities. No. no, this isn't like you. I don't know. <gasps> what did you do to him? As long as my home world's safety is guaranteed, I don't know that it matters. Oh no, he didn't really, he didn't mean that. Destruction, fire. No! Before, this place will be destroyed. No, not Babylon 5. What's going on? Ugh, oh, I'm so worried. An episode just started. Six to one. I've located target. Commencing surveillance. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Is he gonna do what the do same thing to her? I'm informed that you have just seen Ambassador Jakar. Are you asking each of us this question? Yep. Perhaps. What are you doing? Get out. Now. Well, at least she was able to. Oh, you must 
must know that things are uh, changing back home. I hear a few things. For the good? Every day, our people grow unhappier with our so-called leaders. Where did we lose it all? I don't know. Power can be fleeting. Man, this episode. Lieutenant Commander, you're free to launch. Confirm. You heard the man built a wing, hit it. They've taken the bait. Estimate two hours until they can reload the Cobra base. Bait? Keep them busy once they arrive. Shit. We'll take care of Babylon 5 on this end. No. I was authorized to speak to you. Yes, yes, look. What do you want? Stay away from him. No, don't trap yourself in there with him. I want my people to reclaim their rightful place in the galaxy. No. I want to see the Centauri stretch forth their hand again. I want it all back the way that it was. Does that answer your question? That's some real MAGA energy. This is not how they really yes, feel. You're base like Commander, you're hitting just some like base from Delta Wing. Instinct They're closing in them. on the Achilles' last known position. That's far enough. Were you with that other guy? Are you sure this manifest covers everything? Yes, sir. Hydroponic supplies, tools, atmospheric testing materials. Yeah, you, here they that said that you could lie, or they could lie. Nothing worth the effort of stealing it. Do not pursue. Repeat, come back. Do come not back. pursue. Return to base. But commander, it's a diversion, Lieutenant Commander. They want your force as far from the station as possible. Return to base at once. Confirm that. Commander's so smart. I have to warn you. We received information that commander. <laughs> Now I'm taking this ship and we're leaving. You can't just let him go. Garibaldi, a Centauri liner will be coming out of the docking bay in about five minutes. Target engines only. I want her disabled, not destroyed. Confirm. Launching Alpha Wing. He had a plan. We'll program the jump gate to reject the ship's ID code. The shadows are coming for him. <gasps> the shadows? Oh no. Jump point forming in sector three. What? Shit. Did that, did, did that guy do something to him? Alpha 6 managed to eject in time. He's down in med lab. Delta 9 didn't make it. You want me to notify the family? No, I'll do it. Of course he will. They were after something in your possession. I'd like to know what it was. What it was doing yeah, here. They got why it was it declared eye. on the cargo manifest? Or... big enough to help you knock over the Centauri government and put you in charge. I don't care how much leverage you think the eye gives you. See, this is what you get. You're gonna send a message to Centauri Prime because you wouldn't want anybody to find out about your world. What is that? That was the shadow. He got got. It would seem my career is finished, good lady. The eye is gone. Even if they want to buy it back, the price will be astronomical. I'm sorry. You're still the ambassador. I'll do anything I can to help. I expect I'll be leaving myself a few days later. No. Wando, you have to stay. Well, you're definitely going to. You're about to find out about what happened. Whoever it is, go away. Good evening, ambassador. You? Go away. It's late. I'm in no mood for your games. I'm leaving shortly. I got what I came for. Is that the eye? But before I go, a gift from friends you don't know you have. What? Let me buy you a drink. 
Let me buy you an entire fleet of drinks. How can I ever find you to thank you? We will find you, Ambassador. You probably know you weren't first in line to run this place. I suspected as much. I was surprised when they called me. He's so good How at it. How list was I? Pretty far. Rejected by whom? The Minbari government. They were the first to sign on to support Babylon 5 on the condition that they had approval over who was assigned to run this Interesting. place. Interesting. I wanted you. Why? Maybe he checked out. Like, he's obviously great at his job. Commander, I'm glad They weren't wrong to choose him. I wanted to see you before I left. I can let you see. If you will trust me. Yeah, you need to see. Oh, that can't happen. The future is always changing. We create the future. Okay. With our words, our that deeds, means and we can stop it. Lives. This is a possible future, Commander. Okay. And it is my hope that you may yet avoid it. If anybody could, it's gonna be Jeffrey and Claire. Okay, well, this was a very interesting episode. Um starting off with the commander confiding in Garibaldi about his missing time when uh, he was taken by the Great Council and telling him about the Lynn, trying to get information on what happened and what he found out that that Sinclair wasn't really supposed to be considered for this position, but um, the Minbari wanted him to, which you know, they probably looked into his soul or whatever and saw what a guy he is. And it's like, yeah, if anybody should be commander of this ship that's supposed to be welcoming of any and all and be this kind of like beacon of what peace could be between all these different races, then great. Um, but that probably made people angry that he got that position and weary because of, you know, him being with them in Bari in that time, but it's time he doesn't remember. So that's all really interesting. And then the guy that came on the ship asking everyone what they wanted, it's like he went to like to, to their worst, to the worst parts of themselves. Like Jakar really said all he cares about is protecting his people. But then when it got to him, he's like, oh no, I want to, you know, get justice and take down every Centauri. And then Londo was like, no, I just want to be left alone. But then when it got to him, it's like, no, we want to be on top. We got to, we got to reign supreme. And, you know, he, he talked to Kosh and something happened there. We don't know. I wonder why he didn't go to the commander, but he also went to Delenn and that little triangle appeared. What? Who is he? But then he also got the eye back for Londo. And Kiro really just fucked himself up. The shadow indeed got him because he was trying to put his family back to power. But he's not the emperor. Or he was trying to be the emperor, but that you're dead now. So working with the raiders was the wrong move, obviously. And he got what was coming to him as a result of that. Huh. I was thinking that guy was just, you know, a bad guy, but why get the eye for Londo? I mean, if he needs Londo to stay as the ambas ambassador, great. I want him there too, but he was so like weirdly cheery. It was really off-putting and I don't know what to think of him. Um, but Londo should have been upfront about that cargo. Like they said, it could have helped them prepare for what was coming. Because when you have something that valuable, people are going to want it. And Kiro, like, really messed up that whole thing. And Ladira was really interesting. I like what she said at the end, that just because she saw it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's a potential. And... Now we know we have to, that's like our A1 goal to not have that happen. We can't have Babylon 5 get blown up. But like I said, if anybody's going to be able to prevent that, it's going to be the commander because he's so good at his job, truly. Um, 
So yeah, this was really interesting. I don't know what that guy, like that guy is the most fascinating part of this to me. Like, what was he getting to? And it seems like he was happy with what he was hearing, but what he was hearing were was bad. It's not what you want to hear. And I don't necessarily think it's what they truly believe. It's just like, it was like playing on their, the, the worst parts of themselves in some kind of way. Or maybe not even who they are at all. Maybe it was like forcing them to say that. Maybe that's like a, a an ideal of their species at some point that they've evolved out of, like I said, maybe a base instinct because of the past wars that those different races have gone through with each other. But the, the Delenn one was really curious. Like, what was that? She was able to stop him from getting any information, it seems, though. So, okay. Hmm. That was, that was a very interesting episode. Um, and we don't have a lot of answers. But uh, at least, you know, Londo's still good. And, you know, there were some casualties in that fight. But they, they definitely took out more raiders than they lost um, crew members. Uh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad the commander opened up to Garibaldi. I want more information with that. Obviously, that was like a big thing that happened and we haven't really touched on it since then. But yeah, that guy was so mysterious. Hmm. So a lot of stuff up in the air, but I really like this episode. So thank you for this request and I'll see you guys later.